It's the middle of the winter here this month, so I have a wintry golden snowstorm to share with you as we precipitate out lead iodide in the demonstration often called Golden Rain. So in this demonstration, we're going to be precipitating lead iodide out from a mixture of two solutions, lead nitrate and potassium iodide. This is a demo you'll likely have done before to produce a cloudy yellow precipitate, but with a little bit of care and attention taken with the concentrations, you can produce some really beautiful effects. I think it looks a little bit more like a golden snowstorm than it does golden rain, but perhaps because of the connotations or associations with yellow snow, uh, people decided to call it yellow rain or golden rain. Much like yellow snow, we don't want to be eating this stuff, so when you finish the demonstration, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly, uh, wipe down any surfaces, and I'll be wearing some eye protection today as well. Firstly, you're going to want to prepare two 0.3% by weight solutions of lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Um, the heavier lead nitrate, having the higher molar mass, is going to ensure that the lead solution is limiting to this uh, reaction, and that's going to help us precipitate out as much lead as possible and avoid it finding its way into the waterways later on. Uh, I've used uh, deionized water and I'm just going to add a couple of drops of one molar hydrochloric acid to each um, and that's just going to avoid uh, us accidentally precipitating out any lead carbonate if any um, carbonates have remained in your purified water or perhaps uh, like me your distilled water um, can sit on the, the desk for a while over a holiday period and a little bit of carbon dioxide can, can re-dissolve back in. What we want to avoid happening is producing a, a cloudy white precipitate of lead carbonate that's really going to spoil the show later on. So there are a number of things that you can do with this demonstration. First off, uh, I like to just start by adding the lead nitrates dropwise to the potassium iodide solution to produce some beautiful, cloudy, almost like a sort of ink droplet uh, effect. And you'll find that actually as the, the lead iodide produced diffuses into the solution, uh, that it might drop beneath the solubility product uh, again and therefore re-dissolve. So you can do this a couple of times. For this next bit, it's good to have a point light source or a collimated light source to really catch the shininess of the tiny crystals uh, that we're going to be producing. They show up much better in real life than they do on camera, but I'm going to try my best to capture an, an essence of what's going on for you. Um, what you're going to do is just take the remainder of the lead nitrate solution that you've got and you're going to pour it in quite quickly into the potassium iodide solution. Now what I have here um, is really, really beautiful. You have these tiny little crystals that produce these beautiful undulating effects. It's almost like uh, the atmosphere around a glistening gas giant. Now this next part, what I'm gonna do next, is a little bit slower, so it can be handy to have a here's one I made earlier uh, flask nearby. Um, I've got a hot water bath here, uh, the water's just sort of below boiling point and I'm going to want to heat up my flask now to somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees Celsius. At that point the lead iodide is going to be able to re-dissolve 
Uh, and once that solution cools down again and recrystallizes, we're going to get much larger golden crystals to produce that golden rain effect. At first, it's a little bit slow, so if you make one up about 30 minutes to an hour in advance, um, you'll catch it at its best because there'll still be some convection currents moving those crystals gently around inside um, and it's going to help keep them uh, suspended in solution to really produce the best kind of effect for you. Now the one I showed you a few minutes ago has completely cooled and was actually made last week. Uh, so it, the solutions made will keep really quite well. Um, and the crystals, when they're filtered, do retain their golden luster. It, it almost looks as if you've produced gold. Now, I'm going to leave this um, and come back to it in a second and just talk very briefly um, about cleanup because um, when you've finished experiencing and enjoying that glittery goodness, um, your best option is going to be to add an excess of sodium carbonate. And what that's going to do is just to help to precipitate out any remaining lead as lead carbonate. You can filter through any remaining solutions um, to collect as much lead as possible and then keep that aside to be collected by a licensed lead waste contractor. So my flask has just got to just over 70 degrees and all but a couple of my crystals have completely redissolved. I'm going to let that go for another degree or two more until they're completely gone. And then I'm going to switch my flask over to a better light source to help you enjoy the show. So sit back and enjoy Golden Rain and have fun sharing it with your students. Mm -hmm.